Morning, fellas. What is good in the hood? And what do we have here? Now, um, I've experimented with the UI before, but I've never actually touched any of the King Zupa Six. So you're actually gonna get a raw reaction out of me. And notice Morning. how much nicer everything looks to me right now, bro. I am so, I'm so gassed. I'm so gassed. We we've, we've needed this UI change for a while now. So, on top of things to congratulate him for. Or BMG4. This is definitely one of them. Alright. But get started. And, and stances wise. <laughs> we're already getting we're already on the right foot, I guess. King Zuba. Now, hammer boots is already a deadly combo, so I'm just like trying to figure it out. Alright. First things first. Uh and so like Oh my god. Oh bro, you're come on, come on, come on, come on. More decks, bro. We can't allow this. And you know what kind of sigs at this kind of angle? Like, you gotta understand, bro. Like, this angle is so nasty. You're basically putting this guy on the same, like, wavelength as, like, Saril Bow and Sig and, like, Emperor Bow and Sig. It's not bad. It's just, like, if you're gonna give them that kind of hitboxing, please. You know what I mean? Alright. Seemingly undumpable so far from what I can tell. And that looks like a spike stick too, right? The longer it is, okay. That's weird. If you hit it in like a certain spot, then you'll actually be able to land the NSYNC. But until then, it just looks like a throwout that needs a lot of recovery work. That's about it. Oh, that's Isaac? Alright. Ah! My glorious King Zuba, I wasn't familiar with your game. It's actually cold. Um, it's an unjumpable, it's an unjumpable god to, because this initial hitbox is actually kind of gross. But it's like, every sig that I've thrown out now, like after Sig, feels actually lanky. Which is good, because now we're actually in the right direction. A lot of damage, like 25. And it also gets like that little charge property that Koji also has, which I imagine it means Okay, if you GC it, then it's true the exact same way. That's true. <laughs> Four decks, by the way. <laughs> oh no, this isn't too bad, but get ready, get ready, because prepad Zuma already looks kind of like a nightmare, respectfully. That's not even half as possible. Dash Impulse actually looks so nice. If you hit the back part. Oh, it, it literally like gravitates towards you instead. Literally just it, it almost looks like it like mouse drags you over here. That's cool. But until then, it doesn't look like there's much here. Like all the SIGs just look like throwouts. Like it feels like, oh, if you were to commit to a SIG, you better commit to it. And if you are going to commit to it, expect the consequences of missing. Except for this thing right here, unfortunately. Bro, imagine just being in like a total, in a total like stage control situation. You have so much space to yourself, and you just go for the dash side sick. This is a commitment that is that is literally faster than Taro's hammer side sick, and then it kills against the seven defense character. It's like it's scary stuff, and the thing is, you can set up into an edge guard and hammer weapon throw. Historically is an absolute nightmare, so <laughs> I don't know. This is scary stuff But not much to say other than the fact that we kind of understand that these are that this is like a tank build for sure But this character killing at 110 is like kind of justifiable Again, this just needs to go right. Um. Ooh. Uh <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, I want to see how really that kills it because that extension looks super common. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have given this to Zuma, bro. <laughs> you know, do you know, do you know what this means? It's like if you hit a hard side light, you either go for the D light after the fact, which I can't really show you without going like that obviously but i'm saying like it's either d light or n sig on as soon as you pretty much lock them into this stair stun 
Because they're not going to get ready for Entu without actually committing to dodge. So this is like the start of the end of times. <laughs> And that's a 90 against Arcadia. <laughs> that's also a string, so it's I don't even have to go for a hard sideline when I could just go for like the, the AI version. Like you, you guys don't understand, bro. Like that was like the missing piece for people killing at like as far as they as far as they did on on Tesca. Or on Raptor even, where it was like they don't know they don't have a finisher, but they just gave it to Zufa. So it's like you know what I mean? Um, I guess there's a thing where NSYNC on... Just in... Like, Brawler just loves experimenting with NSYNCs because they're all nasty as hell, bro. Oh god. I mean, okay. I, I heard about this one because I did see this... Ensig, and it stood out to me the most because it looked so gimmickless. This looked like a huge wall, and that's exactly what I said it is. Wow, it ends kind of super. It has a lot of frame data, though. I will be honest. That is really good. Like, finally, something that actually, like, ugh! Like, like that's how it feels. Ugh! <laughs> It actually feels like a sig where it's like, if you were to commit to it, you probably earned it, to be honest. Oh, I see. That's annoying. If you, if you GC, if you GC this version of the sig, it's like, at first, it doesn't have that, but if you GC it, it spikes a little bit, giving it that extra chance to kill. Um, that's actually a common in some of the new characters. It's the same for... It's the same for Moonin on our on our build DC. If you GC it and hit it from the side, you'll actually be able to actually have like that little extra chance. Okay, y'all. Like... But from what I can tell, there's just no way that it actually locks into anything. Like hard side like down to side sig, it just has way too much startup. Like so much of it. Hang on, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 22, 22, 22. 22, 22 start up first. Nothing happens without your nothing happens without permission of the game because this is so frame dense. It sucks. So I think I think this character has to be a monster in once. Dude, sorry. <laughs> Overall, pretty balanced, to be honest. But it is terrifying, like being honest. Because imagine just walking up to somebody with D-like the entire game. You could just wall them off with side tick if you're feeling brave enough. That charge up is strangely deceptive. Yeah, if you were to commit to this and go into it, it's nothing compared to side sick. Like not even in terms of reactability, it's just like, well, if you if you can checkmate somebody here with safety control, you pretty much just answer them just like, oh my gosh. That looks hang on. Okay, so that covers everything. <laughs> the only thing that I will say that it takes a little bit of extra timing is if you want to go for this read right here, you actually have to go and dash reverse. But the thing is, you can actually catch some in dodges. You're still like cautious about it. But just know that's a thing he has. And I don't know if we want to take character to have it, but. <laughs> oh no, bro, I give up. <laughs> These characters get so much crazier. It's like. Comparatively though, King Zuva is is like definitely just a tank that was made to completely redefine twos. Like I I I'm sure of it. I'm actually sure of it. So the lesson here. Um to be honest, if you got if you guys are booth players, this is the character for you for sure. If you want to play Hammer, um just remember you have Hammer and Sig, good luck. You actually Bro, you have everything. That's what I'm getting at.